Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to get started creating a 3D design in Tinkercad. Uh, I've already signed in and normally once you sign in it will automatically take you to your dashboard and 3D designs should be highlighted. If it's not, you can simply click on it and then we can click create new design. Now, while it's loading up, it'll take you to your work plane. And the first thing I want to show you is how you can move about the work plane. It's going to be very important when you start creating designs and you want to see different angles of an object. So the first thing I'm going to do, if I want to zoom in or out, I can roll the mouse wheel down or up. So rolling up zooms in, rolling down zooms out. You also have this feature on the left hand side as well. If I want to rotate around the work plane, I can press and hold the right click mouse button. So I'm holding it and I can swing it left or right and that allows me to rotate. You can see pretty much all around. And if I press and hold shift and the right click mouse button, I can pan my work plane left or right. So those are the three basic ways you can move around the work plane. The next thing I want to do is I'm going to just import a shape. So I'm going to click uh, the box over here. Now there are many more shapes that we can use. This is just a basic shapes menu and there's many more that we'll get into as we get further along in our tutorials. For right now I'm just going to click once on the box right? and then I'm going to click again and place it on the work plane. Right? And I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Now you'll notice that when I click on an object, I'm going to move this over, there are these white squares and black squares all around an object and that's pretty much one of the ways we can change the size of our object. So for example, if I click off of it and I click on once, you see these white squares all around. And if I click on one of those, it'll give me two dimensions. So we have a, a box that's 20 by 20 by 20. If I wanted to, let's say, make a rectangle, I can click on one of those squares once and I can then click on the dimension that I want to edit. So for example, if I wanted this to be 40 instead of 20. I could type in 40 and hit enter. All right, if I wanted this measurement to be, let's say 80 instead of 40, I could hit type in 80 and hit enter. I'm right, just going to move my object over a little bit. And if I wanted the height to change, right, there's a white square right on top. All right, if I click that and click 20, I could change it to, let's say 10 and hit enter. So now I have a little different shape. You can also edit those dimensions right in here on the side. You can click on each one of these numbers as well. And you can also drag these circles back and forth to change the size. So you have three different ways to change an object's size. Um, I'm going to bring in another shape really quick. It's pretty much all the same. So I'm going to bring in uh, a cylinder. Again, I click once, drag it over, click again. My little sub menu automatically pops up. All right, and again, I could click on pretty much any uh, square here. So let's say I did want a circle, I wanted an oval. I could make this, let's say 30, hit enter. I could make this uh, 15, hit enter. And I could make this, let's say, we'll make it five. All right now I have a much smaller object. So you can pretty much play around and change the size of each object. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Please make sure to click subscribe below and turn on notifications and also follow us on Instagram at quick underscore tech underscore tutorials to stay updated on any new tutorials we post.